हेलो क्लास वेलकम टू डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स क्लास सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द क्लॉक सिग्नल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर आई हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट एंड एज यू नो व्हाट इज अ सिक्वेंशियल सर्किट इट इज अ सर्किट इन विच द प्रेजेंट आउटपुट डिपेंड्स अपॉन द प्रेजेंट इनपुट एज वेल एज ऑन द पास्ट आउटपुट्स so you see that whenever we are get, giving any input to the sequential circuit it needs the present input as well as it requires the past outputs also so at what time what input should be given to the circuit it is very much uncertain and we need a signal which will control this particular operation so for that purpose we need a signal which will control the operation of the inputs and it will synchronize it with the outputs so we have a clock signal for that now what is a clock signal you see this is a simple clock signal which is looking like a square signal and square signal is generally a clock signal now why do we call it a clock because as in general day to day life the way we are using a clock which is repeating itself similarly the signal is also repeating after a particular duration of time now you see this is the low level this is the high level okay and when the signal is changing from from low to high then it is called as the rising edge okay and when the signal is changing from high to low then it is called as falling edge okay so what is the frequency of a signal suppose if this is my time period if i take one cycle this is the time period so it is represented by t so what is frequency frequency is 1 by time period or 1 by t now another important term which we will come across when we are reading digital circuits and especially the sequential circuit is the duty cycle so what is a duty cycle it is the ratio of time for which the signal is high divided by the total time so suppose if i take one cycle okay so for this particular cycle for how much time the signal is high so if this is t so this is t by 2 so for t by 2 time it is high and what is the total time it is t so it will be equals to 1 by 2 or this will be equals to 50 percentage so the duty cycle of a clock signal is 50 percentage okay so the next important thing is triggering methods so in uh, just now i have told you about the clock signal now how this clock signal will be used so we will trigger this clock signal to the memory of the circuit now see this is a combinational circuit i have also discussed this di this diagram in the previous uh, lecture so this is a combinational circuit i am getting an output and i am also uh, storing this output in the memory and again this memory bit is given back to the combinational circuit uh, in to the input okay now the thing is ki when this memory element bit should be used in this combinational circuit as the input so at what time this bit will be used in the input is very much uncertain so it should be decided by a control signal okay or it should be decided by the clock signal so when the clock signal will be triggered to this memory element then only it will give the output from this memory and it will go to the combinational circuit so this clock signal is acting like a control input okay so in what way can we trigger this clock signal to this memory circuit so this triggering process can be done by different methods so basically there are two type of triggering techniques one is level triggering and the other one is edge triggering so now let us see what is a level triggering this is a clock signal this is my low level and this is my high level again this is my low level and this is my high level 
suppose if the clock signal will work in such a way that when we are having high level then only it will be triggered then only the memory circuit will be triggered and then only it will work as a sequential circuit then it is called as a level triggering okay suppose level triggering is what when there will be high so when the clock signal will be in this duration okay or in this duration then only the memory circuit will be triggered so that is called as level triggering now what is edge triggering so edge triggering is of two types okay edge triggering is of two types so one is called as positive edge triggering and the other one is called as negative edge triggering now what is positive edge triggering so when the signal is going from low to high this particular time okay when the signal is going from low to high then at this instant of that uh, at this instant of time the memory circuit will be triggered so it is called as positive edge triggering now in the second case when the signal is going from high to low at that instant of time the circuit will be triggered then it is called as negative edge triggering okay so there are two types of triggering one is level triggering and the other one is edge triggering okay so in the next class we will discuss more about the sequential circuit thank you for watching the video if you have any suggestions or any doubt you can put it in the comment line or you can contact me thank you